All right, get over here, Ty. Hi, everyone. <laughs> all right, welcome back, guys. I know we've been kind of quiet on the YouTube front. We've just been super busy, having all kinds of stuff going on, and have not had a chance to film and update everyone on everything. So, one we of the more exciting news. Yes, one of the more exciting things is recently we just got a new monkey, and we have been spending all of our free time building a new monkey cage. Uh, so this monkey was actually voluntarily turned over yeah so this monkey was actually turned over to the state and then he was brought to a licensed uh, facility which is us and uh, he was being improperly cared for didn't have proper housing uh, no proper nutrition uh, exercise he was deemed kind of an aggressive-ish animal and from the, uh, owner. from the owner yeah not from anybody else uh, he has been super great with us now that he's out of quarantine we're going to introduce him to our other monkey so he now has a playmate and they can hang out because we really only show toby on youtube we haven't showed the other monkeys he's our our fifth monkey yeah. now um, we've been setting up the security system also we've got cameras that watch him where we're getting a camera installed in the cage and he's like right outside our uh room so we can pretty much see him from our window so you didn't even tell him what kind of monkey it was yet. Well, that's the exciting part. We're not going to tell you until we go inside with it. I know. I know. I'm sorry. I'm a jerk. All right. Let's take him in and show him let's around. Um, just super simple. Food trays are inside of uh, another cage. Throw the food in there. What do we have today? We got eggs. We got some turkey. We got a little bit of pasta. Um, and that's protein pasta. Protein pasta. Sorry. Bananas it's not. are his favorite. Bananas, fruits, and we give him all types of other things throughout the day, like bugs and stuff like that. Oh, it's still locked. I can't get into this thing. So many locks. All right, we're entered. It's actually a pretty spacious enclosure for two small monks. Let me get over here to talk. All right, so we're not the greatest contractors, but we tried. So it's a pretty large cage. Of course, cages are never large enough for primates, but we tried. It was really expensive with wood prices right now. We wired it and we screened it so no snakes can get in and no bugs can get in really. And then they got their little hammocks. They got separate ones in case they don't want to sleep together. Yep. Show them the basking hammock. And then we got a basking hammock to come out here in the morning, get some beautiful Here's sun. And then these are small arboreal monkeys. They live in the trees. So we've got all this bamboo running across the tops. And, and we got this bamboo we grow in our yard. Yeah, look at it all. Yes. We got a palm getting ready to grow up. A palm. We got bananas so they can eat their own bananas when they grow up. And by the way, we are not done. Uh, we are going to add more plants, more branches, but we're just too excited to get the monkeys in here that we couldn't wait any longer and we can do everything else with them in here. So I guess let's go get them. <laughs> okay guys, so this is Aria, my cunt top tamarind. I've had her for about 10 years now and I raised her from, I think she was five weeks old or something. So I love her so much, she is so sweet. One of my little monkeys that doesn't attack rat too bad. So that's always good. If she does bite me, I have to sit still and wait for Taylor to pluck her off of me. Mm -hmm. But she is just like a gorgeous, gorgeous animal. Don't bite the camera, but say hi. She's like, I'll bite it. Oh, she pooped on me. So cotton tops are actually a species found in South America and they're endangered from habitat destruction and also people eat them for their meat and their pretty little hair. Oh. That's sad. So we're gonna introduce our newest member. His name is Scotty. Don't ask about why we named him Scotty. The owner never told us his real name and Scotty's kind of an inside joke with the family. So just laugh at it, okay? This is Scotty. He's a cotton top tamarind, just like Arya. But he's a lot younger. He's only two. Arya is obviously a lot older. She's a cougar of the relationship. Arya, you like your Baskin hammock girl? Hold on, she's, she's enjoying her hammock. Sorry, ADD moment. Look how cute she is. Ready? Hey, Scotty. Look, no more. And they've met a few times, don't worry. We already introduced them before bringing them in a cage together. Where'd he jump? He fell because she scared him. He is slipping. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, Arya's a lot, a lot more used to jumping, isn't yeah. she now? This is my first time around, Scott. So they seem to get along pretty well. Is he trembling? I'm sure he is a little nervous. He's never been in a cage bigger than that carrier, besides the one we put him in. Apparently, Scotty spent most of his life in a carrier. And just like any other animal, once they get better care, they seem to calm down and do a lot better. No. Thank you. Could you imagine? No. Oh. You're the red-tailed red hawk in the background. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, his first thing he did wasn't to attack me, so it's good. He's, he's a lot greasier than Arya. <laughs> yeah. Cardinal in the background. The monkeys will do the same thing. Oh, we're oh, saying she's hi. trying to get up on it. You saw that? It's so Scotty is a lot more timid than Arya, I think, because he just hasn't been as well socialized. He, I don't know if he's ever even been outside. You could tell he's nervous with all the bird sounds, the airplanes, cars. Of course, he's still nervous, but we're just so happy with how well he's settling in. And this is his first time with Rhett, and he's doing pretty good. Of course, he's not jumping on us and all excited and happy, but the fact that he's not attacking us or showing to be super stressed out or anything is a great indicator that he's a lot happier. Not even sure if he's ever had UVB, but overall he's a pretty healthy looking monkey, just a lot thinner than Arya is. So we're definitely gonna beef him up, make him like a little football player. Just yeah, we build a bigger cage, not only for them to be happier, but also because I didn't want them to go into Arya's cage where she's possessive of that. This way, this is kind of like ground zero, he's new cage for everyone. And there's not gonna be any aggression in that way. Scott and on her shoulder. Yeah, he's a good boy. And when I did hang out with them in my bedroom, they didn't love each other, but there was no aggression. They went and ate out of each other's food bowls, so there's no food aggression going on. Um, whenever I touched either one, neither one got aggressive with each other. So it's all good signs that they're gonna get along just fine. They're monkeys, just like how humans are. They're emotional, so you never know. That's why we're gonna have all the cameras, not only to watch for any intruders, but also <laughs> to make sure that they're doing well together at all times. Uh, but we have tons of outdoor cameras all over the property, especially on the house and on every, don't jump on me. He's gonna be fine, just be calm. Mm -mm. Mm. What? He's trying to go in my mouth. So, a lot of people don't know this, but monkeys, even Toby, will try and go in your mouth and groom you and like clean your teeth. And uh, he does this a lot to Taylor. Okay, so I guess he likes me. Mm. So I guess he likes me if he's trying to groom my mouth. Cotton tops max out about nine inches tall standing up and about one, one and a half pounds. So they are very small monkeys, kind of similar to like any squirrel that you see in your yard, except with a longer tail. Why are you looking at me like that? She looks like a little warrior to me. And cotton tops can actually live up to 30 years. She looks like a troll doll. She is such a gorgeous animal. I think cotton tops are one of the most beautiful monkeys and I feel so lucky that we have a couple of them. The goal of Taylor and I is to show you guys wild tamarind someday in a video. Maybe not cotton tops, but we'd like to show you something similar uh, when we get to be able to travel again someday. Aria is actually a very affectionate monkey. Scotty, someday you gonna come over and hang out and be groomed too? She is such a cool. And roll up on your back. Anyhow, we hope you guys enjoyed. This is going to be a really quick update. Uh, we will be back out in the field with Toby Man soon. Mm -hmm. so uh, And stick around for more updates on how the tamarins do. We're yeah. just so excited that we got Scotty and that Aria finally has a little friend and they're going to live happily ever after. All right, guys. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Like, subscribe, share, hit that notification. Scotty and Aria say so.